welcome how you doing i know i know i've been away it wasn't a planned leave but uh, here's what happened while i was away i won an award yes for being a promising communication practitioner very proud moment for me and thank you to you too because you're definitely a part of this journey the clicks the views and everything that's all you so today we're talking about style as much as I hate the rainy season, it's the only time we get to show off the stylish sophistication of trench coats, tattle necks, cardigans, scarves, and all the warm stuff. Today, we're sharing tips on how to score style points this rainy season. Mm, I miss that sound. Welcome back. <laughs> okay, so we're starting with trench coats, which is my absolute favorite piece of clothing for the rainy season. First, it's best to get trench coats that are plain colored. If you don't plan on getting a lot of them, then you should go for timeless colors such as black, white, nude, gray, maroon, or you can even go for red. But in case you change your mind and you're not afraid to go for bold statements like red, pink, lilac, lavender, purple, you know, and all the other colors that exist on the spectrum, just make sure you're not owing anybody money before you step out into the road. You know, those things are really noticeable. Okay, so it's best to wear your trench coat with something that is a little shorter than the trench coat or significantly longer than it, like a trout pair of trousers. So if your skirt or dress is too short for you for your comfort, you can pair with a pantyhose so that, you know, it still keeps the class and you still look really classy. Try to go for colors that work with the color of your trench coat. You can always Google the color pairings, you know, just so you don't cause traffic on the road for the wrong reasons when you step out. Next, we're going to turtlenecks. Turtlenecks are such a classy piece of clothing, but you have to get it right. Again, please go for plain colors that have deep hues like white, nude, brown. You can go for loud colors as long as you're sure how to play it down with the rest of your outfit. In other words, please, honey, don't wear orange and royal blue things in the rain. If you're looking for sophistication and class, you're looking for things that are not too loud but leave a lasting statement. So again, gray, nude, or pastels, pastel version of colors such as blue, what we fondly call baby blue, this pink, what we fondly call baby pink, and of course there are also strong hues like white, black, emerald green, which is becoming my favorite. I'm, I don't know, I can't even talk much about it. Sangria is actually a really nice color as well. These are colors that you want to keep as your friends. Remember to keep it simple and remember that you do not need a lot of jewelry when you're wearing turtlenecks. So you don't look like you're about to die. Okay, last for today, we're going to be talking about how to score stylish points with cardigans. Now, I know that cardigans have a grandma or preppy vibe, but you can absolutely make them stylish by choosing the right color and going bold on the accessories, especially your necklace. You want to go for things that are thick, significant, and layered necklaces, especially if you're wearing it with um, cardigans that have um, strong colors or colors that are a little loud. You want to make sure that your jewelry is right. It's very important to avoid long droopy earrings. It makes you look like you can see the future. Just in case, let Vogue know that I'm coming. Also, you should avoid patterned cardigans. You know that generally cardigans are layering on top of your outfit. So you should be careful what you go for. Go for things that are plain. Go for things that are not um, very heavy on the eyes when paired with the outfit that you're already putting on. These pictures give you the idea of what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> all right thank you so much for watching please make sure you subscribe for more please share because you're nice like that and hey let's stay connected on social media the names to look for are in the description box below i will see you right here next week until then stay safe from corona and every other evil thing stay safe from entanglement <clears throat> too soon all right bye <laughs> I, I didn't think, like I said, I didn't think that anybody had an idea or was paying attention to anything that I was doing. And so I remember I kept reading the name again, like, is he sure he got the name right? Is he sure he got the name right? And I'm really grateful because I feel like we, we all here as women and as youth, we can stand tall because we stand on the shoulders of people like you that give us platforms like this to be seen.